Hi, uh, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you a little bit how one could use my telemetry tool as a uh, race engineer. So with my tool, of course, you can have one screen and then you can use different buttons on your controllers to change the different views. But the other way to do it would be to have one big screen where you have all the different windows open at the same time so you can have a easy way of glance at the different data at the same time without having to remember some things. And this is one way you could do uh, a race engineer sort of setting or screen setup. Uh, and you could start quite often, most likely you would expect that you start with the race map of other track map, because that's the key thing you need to know where your driver is, what's going on, who are the other cars around your driver. And on the race map here you can see uh, the the pit window. So this is the place if your driver would take a, or go to the pit inside the pit now. This is the place where the uh, driver would land uh, during this race. So you know that he would be, fall a little bit behind this driver, but there would be empty sp spots. So that would be a good place to sort of maybe aim it for pit stop if you'd be doing the pit stop at, at that point. Uh, but then also, of course, most likely you would have the telemetry up and running, so you could see that how the driver is doing on this lap like here you can see the driver is a little bit slower than the best lap of, of the session so here the data is the best uh, lap of, of the session or data from that lap so I think that's a good thing to do and instead of doing the fastest lap you, you're using the session best lap for the data and here you can actually see with the 10.4 I added the uh, math channel so there's a break, break, break balance so this shows you if you dive in into data that you can see that if if the fronts are locking earlier than the backs when you are braking and that's a ni nice little graph you can do with the math channels and there'll be another uh, video on the math channels how you can do these things then of course if you are doing the race engineering you must mo might most likely have the race info open and here you can see the in these graphs they show the car in front and then the car behind how much faster they are and you can see that the car behind is, is much faster at this, this point than the driver so you know that you might tell your driver that hey this guy is three seconds faster than you on, on some laps so be prepared he might be coming and overtaking you if you don't uh, start pushing yourself and then on the race info there's other data you can also see the pit stop so here you can see how much time did the driver lose during the pit stops and it's 60 point, about 62 seconds so and this is uh, for a, in a Silverstone for a normal pit stop where you just change tires and so it's 62 seconds so this is the pit window actually is about 60 seconds behind the driver and there's a, a, a slider where you can adjust uh, the pit stop time so it's up to you to decide that if what kind of pit stops times you can you can do that during the race if if there's a need for that so you can just adjust you realize that okay now the driver's coming in for pit stop and then we have to fix the car so then you you can adjust uh, the pit stop window and then you can see where the driver will land after a after the pit stop uh, then uh, with the 10.4 I added the new thing that the histograms will also work with the red lap so the active lap and this is a nice way here you can see the tire pressures for the front fronts you can see it will be updating uh, as you drive and this is a there might be other information you might want to see but this is for me I would most likely look at the tire pressures for the fronts especially on this on this time other data that you might want to keep looking at is the speed or the session data this is the data for the whole race for the whole session so you can see that the we the have we have driven about 120 kilometers a little bit on the trot, throttle statistics but here the key thing would be keeping eye on the how much fuel the driver is using and this is for future when you drive lots of races you start understanding and collecting data that how much fuel your driver is using on that car and then that's a good information to know how much fuel you need to put on the on the on the race and so that you are just just there on the bare minimum that you need and and then other data is is there there's the tire temperatures also the tire pressures maximum tire pressures which is a uh, to me it's a nice information when you look at the setups that was the the race setup perfect or not because if you do, the tire pressures get or the maximum tire pressures are too high then you know that you might need to do something with the tire pressures other data that you can have with the ACC is that there's the fastest uh, speed so you can a little look at if there's something issue if your driver is always lots of 
a lot of slower than the other cars you need to do something with that if if the ti lap times are not good it might be the set issue on the setups and then here there's a nice x y plotter for the speed and engine rave so you can a little bit keep eye on how is the how the driver is changing the gears a little bit trying to understand if there's something that you need to tell the driver also here is the race details so race timing is the name on the tool and then you can see there's different ways of sorting this is the way here we have sorted it with the order on the track order and you can see how many la uh, positions the driver has gained during the race which lap they are on how many pit stops they have made and this is a good information to have as it it might be that if there's a two mandatory pit stops so you can see if the driver cars in front of you of your driver have already done their pit stops or not and then you can also plan accordingly for that and then there's the best lap and, la and last lap for the driver so you can a little bit see that if if the uh, other drivers are going slower or faster than their fastest lap and then of course i would most likely keep up this uh, race history so this is a good set of graphs because it tells you a little bit what's going on with all the cars in, in the in the race and you can also see how your drivers lap times are comparing to the other cars around and if you should go if you should stay out longer or take an earlier pit stop if you start losing time because uh, maybe the tires are worn out and and this is a nice graph to have just to keep eye on the what's going on in the whole race and but it's a it's but it's a nice it also reveals that when the <laughs> driver has done some thing mishaps and maybe uh, spun out somewhere and just you see repeatedly how much time they are losing there and then i would also most likely keep up a little bit eye on the uh, friction circle and then you can also have the history of the friction circle and even if and if you click here it will even open up the whole big uh, friction circle you can also save that as your image if you want to look at the, that a little bit later but this is a handy way but you can have and you can save this whole setup so when you open it the next time it will have the same same graph same uh, windows open but this is a sort of a simple introduction how one could use this all data as a race engineer so if you are lucky and get someone to do or be your race engineer you could sort of show them that this is the way they can look into the data and they can start learning and there's lots of other things maybe on the data that they might want to look into but this is a very short introduction and i hope you enjoyed that and if you have any questions just type the questions on the channel or or let me know on the race department thanks ciao